Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review for today. We're taking a look at this Marvel Legends The Raft Spider Man figure. As you probably know, I absolutely love Spider Man and I've been trying to build my Spider Man collection. I'm always scouring eBay, and the other week I saw this Raft Spidey go up for auction and he was at a really low price. I kept my eye on him. And lo and behold, I won him, and I'm so buzzing because I love the style of this Spider Man. This Spidey has the same Pizza Spidey body mold that was released quite a few times, but I definitely think this looks like one of the best, and I can't wait to take a closer look at him. So let me know down in the comment section below what your favourite Pizza Spidey body molded figure was, and while you're down there, if you could do me a massive favour, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And let's not wait any longer, let's take a closer look at the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Marvel Legends Spidey. And so here is our Spider-Man Raft Marvel Legends figure as he's arrived from eBay. As we see him is how I bought him, no alternative hands or anything like that. I think he looks pretty good, there are some things that we're going to take a closer look at that look a bit warped. But he does have this pizza body that I want to talk about, you know, it is a good standard Spider-Man body but it definitely isn't my favourite anymore, I definitely preferred it when we first saw this body get released but since getting the retro moulded Spider-Man, yeah I do think this looks a lot better and I do want to do a head swap later on in the video. The head is really why I wanted this figure, I think Marvel Legends do a great job at giving us Spider-Man figures and if you're a fan of the channel you'll know that I am a really big fan of the Toy Biz Spider-Man Classic Spider-Man figures, they just look so unique, just a whole range of different looking Spideys and I feel like Hasbro kind of play it safe a lot of the time, they give us really standard looking Spider-Man figures which is great but I do like it when it is a bit different looking you know we look at the fearsome foes spidey and then we get the likes of the snapshot you know it's a bit different marvel legends seem to kind of go the standard route and this head sculpt is different you know this is the only marvel legends spidey that i know of that has the big eyes like this every other figure looks a bit more standard a bit basic or you know it's still stylized you get the deco eyes and everything like that but i personally really like the big eyed spider-man and it is something a bit different that Hasbro hasn't really released widely, they only give us this head sculpt with this raft, was it a Comic Con exclusive? Which meant it was really hard to get, I managed to eventually find this on eBay for a great price so I jumped at it and I now have the head sculpt so as I mentioned I do want to swap the heads over and see what that looks like on the latest buck but right now we have them on this pizza body mould and it looks good, you know, it looks standard. Let's take a closer look at the head sculpt. Those big eyes are really what I was wanting. I think they look great. I think they're proportioned pretty well. Got some good solid web lines going round. Really can't complain at all. And there's a wee bit of garbage there. And then, yeah, we get the standard pizza body, which it is what it is. It kind of just the comments I've already made. It looks really kind of basic, really standard, just get this paint on top which is nice you know the paint isn't oh well a lot of scuffage here that i've just noticed not too much on the other butterfly joint the logo comes out really well really solid web lines it went for this dark blue the pizza spider-man was definitely a lot brighter than that so it is a variation on the pizza spidey body same sculpt but definitely darker colors there uh, with this one we get the web swinging hand and a fisted hand i don't know what hands came with this figure originally but i'm glad we get a fisted and a web shooting one and yeah we get to the legs this joint here is really loose and annoying it's definitely just the way the seller had this posed previously but that is it you know it is a good figure it looks the part just a bit too basic for my liking but i do really like the head sculpt so to compare this Raft Spider-Man figures to some other Spideys lying around, here is the Fearsome Foes Spider-Man Classics figure and I think this does well to reinforce the point that I was making. Looking at this figure, there's so much personality, so much style going on. 
and this just looks a wee bit basic next to it yeah i mean that's that's my thoughts i know folk might disagree but i definitely do simp for toy biz a bit and when you compare these two next to each other it's a bit of a no-brainer for me i think this just looks way more interesting looking at the raft spidey when you see the head you're like okay yep and then it just falls flat looking at this spidey everything about it is interesting and it really grabs my eye anyway and yeah that's my thoughts let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below here is Hasbro's newer Spider-Man retro carded Spidey and this is a much better figure in my opinion. Comparing these two now, having played around with both body moulds quite a bit at this point, this is such a better figure. It's way more interesting, way more fun and we did get different head sculpts with this piece right here. This is once again cool but the best bit about it is the head sculpt and therefore I do want to swap the heads over and see if this kind of McFarlane styled Spider-Man Marvel Legends head is going to work on that retro molded body and I think it does, I think it actually works pretty well, let's see. So here is the raft head on the retro carded body and I think it works pretty well. I actually really do like the look of this. I don't think it's too disproportioned or anything like that. I think it works nicely and I have to say this look could be one of my favourite Marvel Legends Spideys now. As I mentioned I really like the big eyed look to Spider-Man. I love the retro body mould. Combining the two really works for me. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I do have the Renew Your Vow Spidey coming really soon at the time I'm recording this video and my plan is to swap those heads pretty much permanently because I do not like the look of that Renew Your Vow Spidey head. Just a personal thing, I don't know what it is I don't like about it but yeah i'm just not a big fan of that look of the head sculpt and i do really like this one so i think i'll swap it of course we'll need to wait to that video and see if it works as well as this but i'm really happy with this look yeah so back to this body mold i'll try and run over all the articulation you can get the head looking that far up about that far in at the body left and right and it will pivot around as well Get the arm moving about that far up, not far at all. He does have a butterfly joint, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Move the wrist backwards and forwards and rotate that around. Same articulation in this arm here. Get a good ab crunch, move it around at the waist. Move the leg really far forward, about that far back. Upper thigh cut, this one is a bit stiff, I noticed that earlier. Double jointed knees, you can you can move it round at the calf area. You can move the foot backwards and forwards, it will pivot as well. And yeah, same in this leg here. And so there we have it for this Raft Spider-Man Marvel Legends figure. And it is a good Spider-Man figure. I'm really happy to have it but mostly for that head sculpt. I'm really happy to have that style of Spider-Man head that I can swap around and use on other Hasbro Marvel Legends bodies. This figure is good, but it's just nothing special and I definitely do not think it's worth the price that it goes for on the aftermarket. Honestly, spend around £20 on this figure unless you're really, really wanting that head sculpt. Similar to me and you want that head to really have a different look to Spider-Man in your Marvel Legends collection, Maybe spend a wee bit more, but just be prepared that there is nothing special about this figure. That might be too harsh. That that sounded harsh. I like it. I do, honestly. Believe me, I like this figure, but it's just your typical pizza Spidey that we've played with for years now. I, I guess that's what it comes down to. Let me know what you guys think of this figure down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, if you could do me a massive favor and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below. So feel free to check that out. There will definitely be a lot of pictures of this Spider-Man up on there but maybe just more so the head sculpt on the retro body who knows feel free to check that out and feel free to hop on over to the channel page there are plenty of other spider-man videos over there as well as other marvel legends and spider-man classics it would mean a lot if you could hop on to the channel page and check out some other videos with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video right here i know i've rambled on but I hope you had a good look at this figure and have a better idea of what it is. And as always, I'll catch you 
on the flip-flop later. Cheers. <laughs>